Hey everybody, welcome back to Fish on Adventures. I had a uh, viewer make a comment about transom, transom flex and he wanted to know uh, about what you could do about it. And I started talking about trim and the trim pin. And uh, so what I thought I'd do instead of making all these uh, comments, trying to explain to him in the comic session, we'll make a quick video on some things that you can do to combat your tran transom flex and also what trim in relation to the little, these little boats do. Now I realize that most people don't think trim matters on a little boat because it doesn't get up on plane, but it does because what you want is the boat traveling just slightly bow up or level. And you can do this by adjusting the payload in the boat after you get the, the, the boat trimmed. But what I do and what we're talking about in transom flex, well, these little boats, the transom doesn't have very, it has very little support in it. It's just got a, a, a two by six or a two by eight here but it's not all the way to the bottom of the boat and it's not glassed in to where it's very strong. That's why they, don't, they limit the horsepower. But if you watch close here on the, on the clamp where the motor clamp is, you can see the flex in the transom and how this would combat, how I talk about the trim, bit, trim pin will combat that. Now the factory, they send this trim pin in the second hole and you can adjust the trim you know, to the right of the boat bow up or plowing down. But what I found out just through a little bit of experimentation was that it, the, when you have it in the lower tr lower position, and I literally remove the tr the trim pin, I don't I, I take it completely out, which makes the motor slightly inward. It does it's not level. If you were to put it in the first hole, it would be slightly out, and then the second hole is about where the factory sends these things. So you're going to have the tr motor's going to want to trim upward which like I said, the, the further the boat up, the more torque, when the thrust of the motor pushes forward, it has more torque and causes the transom to flex outward. What I did, and I'm not sure, you know, you may have a Pelican or different boat, but on this, on this particular boat, which is a Sun Dolphin 2 or a Pond Prowler 2, they're the same boat. By taking the trim pin and allowing the trim tab, which is this, this right here is what adjusts the trim in and out. By allowing this to go all the way in and set against the back of the transom, what the motor, what this does, it pushes on this portion as well as the double clamp. And as you can see with it down, there's very, very little uh, flex in the transom with the motor being down because you're getting two points. You're not just getting the top where it's flexing the top. You're also getting the, the, the thrust of the motor is lower on the transom which in, in this case with plastic would be very important. Now, with the motor being slightly tucked in, which means that the bow of the boat is gonna to want to plow down. And there's a, that's a real easy solution to fix, and it's simply by adjusting the payload of the boat. Uh, these little boats, when you get in the boat, if you're in it by yourself, you may actually have to move the battery forward underneath the seat where you're at in order to balance the boat and have it level in the water. If there's two people fishing in a boat, what I normally do is I sit in a, in a comfortable position to drive the motor and the person's up front, when we, start, when we start moving, I may tell them to scoot back a little bit or scoot forward just a little bit just to balance the boat so I'm getting a good ride. And that's also important for the performance of the motor. If the boat's properly balanced when it's traveling across the water, you'll get the maximum performance out of the, out of the motor. If it's trying to push the bow up, you're, lo you're losing performance, and if it's plowing down, you're losing speed because of, of the drag of the boat. I hope that this may be explained a little bit and why trim on a two-man bass boat is important. It's not important in the aspects of trimming out and how the boat rides on plane because this boat will never see plane, but in the aspects of the performance of the motor and preventing transom flex where you could damage the boat. You actually could track, crack the transom, and you could see some damage in the boat. So I hope this helped and I hope this explained the trim pin and the position of the trim pin. I highly recommend that you try the lowest setting that you could go. So you're putting more force on the lower part of the transom than, than the clamps are because you're getting that twisting effect with the motor. And then after you get the transom where you notice it's, you're going to have some flex. You can't stop it completely, but you want it at a minimum. But once you notice the transom, you get the trim right, trim pin setting right, or even just completely remove the pin. Then, then you'll notice that the transom doesn't flex near as much and simply adjust the ride of the boat, how it rides in the water by adjusting the payload.
So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it explains to the viewer who was having a little bit of issue with this commenting back and forth of what I was trying to explain. It's a kind of a difficult thing to explain. So I hope to see you on the water. God bless and fish on.